This video is brought to you by Squarespace. We are currently aboard the world's largest cruise ship. The wonder of the seas. And we're going to be giving you guys a full ship tour of this ginormous floating city. Good margarita. <gasps> of course, if you just want to relax in the hot tub, that's fine. But there is also... <laughs> hey everyone, we're Stephen, Jess and Hunter, a little family from Australia who just jumped on a one-way ticket to Europe. So last week we boarded the world's largest cruise ship. <laughs> it's like we've got to walk into a shopping centre. <laughs> Where we ate dinner with the Mad Hatter and ate lemon sorbet in the Amalfi Coast. I don't know how we're going to tackle this in one video, but let's show you everything you can see, do and eat on the world's largest cruise ship. Hunter, can I ask you a question? Are we in the middle of the ocean? Nothing more relaxing than starting your morning with a cup of coffee, being fed imaginary soup from your daughter. Mmm, so good. So today is day three on board the ship and it is a sea day and I cannot believe that we've already been on this boat for three days and we still have barely seen the ship. So I'm kind of excited for today to go and explore and to see what there is to do on the world's biggest ship. Go! Hello, mommy. The ship has its very own park. They've called it Central Park, and yes, all these trees and plants are real. Oh, Hunter, I think you got a coffee too. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. This is crazy. Like, I did not feel like I'm on a ship right now. There are bird sounds chirping, so it really makes you feel like you're at a park. And I think because also the boat's moving, so you have like the breeze coming through. But I think because the ship's so big, it's not rocking. I keep saying it, but I can't believe we're on an actual ship right now. Yeah. <laughs> Is there an elephant? Okay, I know we've barely seen the ship, but this already feels like my favorite place. It is quiet, it is tranquil. You can just sit down, have a coffee, and not feel like there are 7,000 other passengers on board. Oh, but, oh, 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 oh. So there's quite a few places you can have breakfast on board. Downstairs in the main dining hall, you can have a sit down, order your breakfast, or you can come up to Windjammer like we do and just grab buffet. This is seriously one of the most diverse buffets we've been to. They will cook waffles in front of you for fresh, have your eggs how you want, fruit. The bakery section, I'm just putting on pounds just looking at it. It's a good spot to start your day. What do you think of Dad's breakfast? Let's look at this. It's a fruit kebab. Lift it up. <laughs> and then look, we take a bite out of it. <laughs> Yum. So this morning, this little one is about to go to her first ever kids club. Not only for three plus, they also have a room for zero to three. And Hunter keeps saying that she's going to school. Are you going to school today? <laughs> okay, let's go yeah, to school. 14. Hey Hunter, are you going to go make some friends? Yeah, I think you are. Should we go this one? Oh, wow. Have a look. So Hunter just ran on in, so I think she's gonna have a good time. But now that the kids are gone, should we uh, go get a massage? Go in the hot tub, or we could. They have the laser tag on board. She's over there. She's got us surrounded. Oh, I got someone. <laughs> over here. Go poke your head around there. Oh, I got hit. Over there. She's got us surrounded. Hey, okay, over there. Go. So with over 18 decks on this ship, there's uh, got to be a quicker way to get to the bottom. I'm scared! <laughs> oh my gosh, so you're shaking! Alright, let's do it. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. One. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my 
trying to get to the bottom. Oh my god, that was shaky. That was so good. Oh my gosh, this ship is crazy. <laughs> Let's go do it again. So I haven't even got to see this bit yet because I've been looking after Hunter. We are going to the adults only section. It's called the Solarium. Steven's told me it's beautiful. This is so nice. What? Can we lounge on the lounges? Straight in the hot tub? Straight in the hot tub. Ah, oh, this is so nice and relaxing. Yeah, this place I feel like it's made for relaxing. There aren't like huge swimming pools. They're more like pools where you sit in the seat lounger and you have your cocktails and then you lounge in the hot tub. Yeah, it's definitely away from the craziness. And also I think it's like the best part of the ship, right at the front with these windows that go up like three redeck so when you're sailing at sunset grab a cocktail jump in the hot tub such a beautiful spot how cool is this hot tub <laughs> we just came outside and we saw that there was a hot tub free this whole wall is glass they even have rock climbing for the big kids This really was so fun. Good job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That was so fun. Never done rock climbing before. <laughs> okay, I think it is officially time to give you all a tour of our room. So here on the ship, there are four types of rooms you can book. And inside, a porthole, a balcony, which is the room that we have, a suite, well actually technically there's five rooms because there's also a family suite. I was talking to someone, Stephen, it has its own hot tub. What? I know. What? One day. But we'll give you a little tour. So this is what a balcony room looks like. So when you first walk in, we have a full length mirror and we have our bathroom. Inside the bathroom, super spacious. It is all self-contained in the one room. So you can have a shower, which we really like because it isn't a shower with like a curtain. It's a glass enclosed shower, which is really nice. You then have your toilet, you have your vanity set here, plenty of storage if you're wanting to put toothbrushes, as you guys can see, we're fully unpacked. Pretty good for a bathroom. So the way they've laid out the room is that you actually have your living area kind of desk space, and then next to the window is the bed, which I think is quite nice, because it means in the morning when you wake up and you have the curtains open, you can lie in bed and look at the view outside. So coming through here, here is our kind of living room lounge area, and I think this does turn into two single beds. So if you've got kids, four of you can fit in the room. And then on this side is where you've got your desk area, and as you can see, plenty of storage. Storage, like look at all this space. This is Jess's cupboard. <laughs> and then over here is Stephen and Hunter's cupboard. Okay, mostly Hunter's cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> and then on this side, there is a little cooler fridge in here and then five sets of drawers. We have some beautiful sunlight coming through from our balcony, but welcome to our bedroom. So here, it is pretty much a split single bed, kind of pushed together into a double bed, very comfy. We've had incredible night's sleeps on our bed. And then there is a TV here with some channels, some movies you can purchase. And the bed is definitely big enough to store both your bags underneath. But of course, the best bit of the room is the balcony. So every morning we've been lounging out here, having our coffees at night, watching the sunset right from our room. So if you guys are interested, at the moment there are some insane deals on cruises, like the one we did early on the year got 30% off. This one we pretty much got like 40% off the room. That's why we upgraded to get a balcony room because it's just really nice to wake up, have your morning coffee as you pull into a port. Of course, because the ship is so big, balcony rooms can mean two things. One, facing inwards towards Central Park and the boardwalk, or two, facing outwards. We actually made that mistake. We just booked a balcony room, realized we were facing inwards, quickly called them to change it up. So just remember that it's so big, there's two types of balcony rooms. What did you make? Did you paint this? Hunter, did you love it? She said, I love school. Hunter, did you want to go see a pirate show? Oh, show. Let's go do it. Show.
yellow wee, let's do it. Are we gonna go down the yellow wee? The mum, not the biggest thrill seeker. We'll have to go down the orange slide. He's coming up. So what I've noticed is that they've really gone for an open plan design. They've almost stacked neighborhoods on top of each other. So you have the entertainment place completely locked off. And as we walk up to the Royal Promenade, just look at this, completely open plan. Once again, there's another neighborhood, Central Park, stacked up there as well. I'm like trying to show you guys just the perspective of how big this is. I'm currently on the fourth floor and that just goes up and up and up. I don't know how they got this to work, but there's a full-sized ice skating rink in here. Honestly, it's not a cruise ship if it doesn't have a casino. <laughs> and they even have a karaoke bar. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Daddy, where are we going? Are we going on the horsey? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to one of our favorite spots here on the ship. It is called the boardwalk. Are we ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, ready? Go show mommy where the horses are. Ready, set, go. Oh, Ha 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 ha! 
Go! Woo -hoo. Yeah. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Hey, you're like right behind me. Yeah, no, because I threw bombs at people. Hey! <laughs> no! Daddy got me! Daddy yeah. got me! Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but Dada. Daddy. 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 Official Mario Kart champion. Oh. A thousand tickets. What is no, it says four tickets. Oh, four tickets. Oh, four. And yours. Your what is it? Is ready. What is it? <laughs> wow, what is it? It was lucky. Two duck ducks and a bracelet. Oh my, and your duck ducks? So of course, we're on the biggest ship in the world, so they can't just do a bar normally. We have a bionic bar, a robot bar, who's gonna be making our drinks. Oops. Oh, they've got a non-alcoholic. Hunter, do you want a mocktail? Do you want rainbow? Rainbow. All right, and then let's have a look at some signature drinks. And Mummy's gonna get a margarita. Are you ready? So can you click this button? Beep. Sending order. You wanna come watch the robot? Hunter, look, this is gonna make your rainbow drink. Is that a robot? Huh? Yeah, he's gonna go get your drinks ready. Oh my gosh, Steve. How many drinks are there up there too? Like a hundred. Hunter, where's the robot? Yeah. Yeah, what's he doing? Oh, he's gonna shake it up, I think. Oh, there he goes. He's shaking up your drink. <laughs> Is he shaking it up? It's wow. Hunter's rainbow dream. And look, I think it's going to come over and then we can get it. Ready? What? Here it comes. Rainbow. Rainbow dream. Whoa. Rainbow. Oh, thank you, robot. <laughs> you sit down and drink it. So before dinner tonight, we decided to go grab a drink. Of course, margarita. Let's see. Robot margarita. Good margarita. Let's try your rainbow. Okay, here's your rainbow drink. Is it good? Yeah? Thank you, Rosie. wanted to say a massive thank you to Squarespace for being our long-term partners and friends of the channel and for making this epic cruise possible. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. So going on the seven night Mediterranean cruise, we're going to be taking so many photos and it's so easy to put together a personal website or a website for your business using Squarespace. They have award-winning designs, 24 seven customer support. So if you get stuck, you can contact someone, they'll help you through it. Our website, flyinthenest.tv was built on Squarespace. So if you are new around here, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can get 10% off your first order plus a free trial. Now let's head back to this epic, epic ship. So here on board, there are 20 restaurants, which means that if you ate at a different one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on a seven night cruise, you would only have just tasted each one. So there are 10 restaurants included on your cruise, including the Windjammer Cafe, which is a buffet. But if you're after something quick, there's Sorrento's. And out here in the boardwalk, they have the dog house. If you're just after a hot dog. Or you can choose to dine at one of the many specialty dining restaurants here on board, including this Alice in Wonderland themed one. There's not just one, two, three cafes on board. There's also a Starbucks on board as well. Or if you're really hungry, here you can get an eight course dinner. Or you can go for steak, grab some southern food at the mason jar, grab some freshly caught seafood at Hooked, grab some Italian pasta at Giovanni's, and what we're going for tonight, Hibachi. I'm excited. Look at it. Hungry now? Hallelujah. Is he going to crack them open? Watch the money. Birthday, Roman! One, two, three. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh. 
Japanese pizza right now, yeah. All right, everybody, make some noise. Our main course has just been served. We decided to go for the lobster, the shrimp, and the scallops, and it's already been so tasty. We had salad to start with, some fried rice, and there's still another course to come. It's so good. It's so good. This is Japanese ice cream. Oh. It's called mochi. Mochi. Right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh. show on a water stage and tonight we're going to be watching an ice show on ice. 